Good evening, good people. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're watching me from. Welcome to each and every one of you. My name is Angie and I am the face behind this Facebook page. If you're my page for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I am an online business owner and a mentor and I help people to start online businesses and I provide them with the sales system and the tools, the training they need plus mentorship and coaching so they succeed in their businesses. So if you're somebody who is looking to supplement your income, you're looking for a plan B, or you're thinking retirement, this could be just the platform that you're looking for. So if you're watching us today, leave a comment, let us know where you're watching from, and if you've got any questions, drop them in the comment section, and I'll come back and respond. Today being a Wednesday, I've got a guest. She's going to share with us her journey to online entrepreneurship and what this business has done for her and what it means to her. So without further ado, let us welcome Claudia. Hey, Claudia. Hi, how are you, Angela? All right, how are you doing? I am great, thank you. How about you, Jacko? Zuri, <laughs> um, Claudia, if you can introduce yourself to our viewers today. Yes. Hi, everyone. Good morning uh, from uh, from Ontario, Canada. It's morning here. I know that it's um, good evening in where you may be and or good after, uh, afternoon. So my name is Claudia and I am originally from El Salvador. I am living in Canada for over 29 years. I have no, I have no career background. I always like to, um, to move around and I didn't feel like, you know, going to, to go to, a, uh, to go to college or university because I didn't want to be in the same place for such a long time and pay so much money. I know that many of my friends that, you know, have been going to careers for like five, eight, ten years, and now they're not even doing that career, and they spend so much money. And, you know, I saw that it wasn't worth it, so I, I didn't feel it in my heart, but I did go to a Bible school for two years, and um, that took me to, be, uh, to go on a mission in East Africa, so... I know Kenya, I know Tanzania because of that option, that that season in my life. That is interesting. Um, for most of us, when we're growing up, a career path is definitely something that you've got in your horizon. So, what was it for you that triggered that moment of realization that this is not the path that you wanted? In the career? Yeah. Why did you choose uh, that you didn't want to have a career, to follow a certain career path? Yeah, because um, since since I think I was a younger youth, I wanted to help people. Um, mm -hmm. I used to watch mm -hmm. like um, um, those programs, you know, where they're kids and they're hungry and this and that. So I used to watch those and I always wanted to help them. You know, I always wanted to do something. I always wanted to do. So I had that desire in my heart and it took years. And um, and then I came across like a missionary program and I'm like, oh, perfect. They're doing that. You know, they're doing that and so much more. Right. So I'm like, you know what? Actually, that's what I want. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to help people. I want to be able to 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 be moving around. So I, you know, like. Um, not every one of us is born for a, a secular career. Many people are born mm -hmm. for like, you know, places as this as a missionary or other things, right? Or just or just a stay home mom, right? And that doesn't yeah. mean that, yeah. you know, uh, that doesn't mean that, you know, like that is a purpose and uh, we need to embrace it, what it is. But yeah, I never felt it to go to a secular career, never. Wow. wow. Let's just say hello to our viewers so far. 
Hey Ryan, watching from the Philippines. Nice to catch you live, friend Angie and Claudia. Thanks, Ryan. Lovely to have you here. And Abby, hey darling, how are you, Abby? Interesting. I mean, this is you're the first person I've actually encountered who has got who's had this free. So my next question is, did you work with those missionaries for a long time or you would switch from one mission to the next? Uh, I went to school from 2015 to 2000 and no, 2014 to 2016, graduated in April. September, we went to Tanzania for 10 months and I was in Kenya as well, um, you know, and so that after that, I came back to work because um, when I went this first time, I had sponsors, but I wanted uh -huh. to do something from my own, you know, so I came back to work and, and now still in that preparation of, you know, doing something, but now it's going to be from my own. Not If people want to sponsor me, that's fine, because I know God will place things in people's heart, but this yeah. is why, yeah. I, yeah, this is one of the reasons that I love this business because I'm able to do this as well. It, that's a beautiful segue because when you're working in a full-time job, then you can't exactly keep that job waiting for you when you get back. Exactly. And it, so was that one of the reasons or the reason that made you start an online business? Uh, that is one, but the one that really turned around everything was September 5th, 2019. I was at my, my last job and this day, uh, the, the, the manager and the other lady that was in charge, they were on vacation. So there was another lady and myself and pretty much, um, pretty much, I think it, it was my responsibility. I was like most in charge. Um, you know about everything in the job right and this day this is specific day um, the other lady didn't show up so I was the only one there there was a big order a huge order from the United States that needed to go out and we were not finished actually we had to we have to like round it up that day pack it up and send it to them and um, my grandma was um, had a situation uh, cancer for stage and uh you know this day she got very sick so they had to take her to the hospital and uh, i was at work my father calls me and he tells me like she's at the hospital if you're coming and then uh, since i had this you know big responsibility and i was hoping for the best that i would see her again right i didn't think you know that that would be her last day and uh, two hours later, she just passed away. I received a phone call from my father telling me like, you know, she passed away. Like, she, he was so mad, obviously. I understand that, you know, like don't bother no more, right? Um, at that moment, I said, you know what? I don't wanna position myself again into this situation. I have looked into this opportunity, but I didn't take the leap of faith. But that yeah. allowed me yeah. to, um, I guess, you know, like God just pushed me saying, you know what? Now is the time. Take it, take it, because I want I want to prepare you for other things. So that's when I that's that was a turnaround for me. Um, I decided to jump into this because I didn't want to be in the position ever again that I I don't have the flexibility that I you know I'm not yeah, able to yeah. do the things that I love or the things that I need you know to be around. So yeah, that was um, that was pretty much the push push away. <laughs> Wow, that is. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, Thank you. It is tough. You can't have been easy on you at all. And well, I'm glad there's at least a silver lining from your grandmother's demise. Now, for those of you who are joining us today, welcome. It's Claudia and I, and we are online business owners and we're discussing how Claudia got into the online space. Claudia, after you found this opportunity and your, your grandmother passed away and you decided that this is what you're going to do, 
what was the one thing that stood out to you about this business? Um, what is it what you like the most? I I really like that, you know, I'm able to work from anywhere. You know, I love the flexibility because uh, that way I wouldn't, I, I will not be in that position again. I love that, you know, and that gives me, gives me the quality time that I love because I, I love quality time, you know, when mm -hmm. someone is with mm -hmm. me, I love that they can give me quality time. And I also give that back to them because I love it. So, you know, I re reciprocate. But yeah, I, I, those are the main things that I really like. And obviously, right, like an extra income and stuff like that. But yeah, that you you know, you have quality time. It is flexible. You can work from anywhere in the world. So that allows you all of those things in place, right? And you, yeah, don't have yeah. to, you don't have to stop the things that you love because you can do your priorities around your business. And, and that is the amazing thing about having a business and being an employee, right? So it's a lot to think about. It is a very good point you make about the flexibility in our business. And every time I speak to somebody with regards to this business, flexibility comes out as the number one reason people joined. Yeah, because if you've got kids, you don't want to miss out on their milestones. You want to be there when those big moments happen in their lives. And sometimes you just want, like you said, just one time to yourself. But if you're in full-time employment and then you have another side hustle that takes so much time away from just you being you, then it can be, it can be a problem. So people find this online business really flexible and it affords them the opportunity to do other things that they like doing. You've yes. been in the online business for a while now. And did you always have experience to, to start this online business? No, I didn't have experience at all, you know, and uh, people ask me, why did you come into an uh, online business? And I tell them, you know what, I really didn't know. I just saw a post, mm -hmm. actually. I, I I was not following my mentor. I was not uh, checking her out, nothing like that. I just was um, scrolling on the news feed on Facebook. And I just saw a post saying, you know, you want to have, you want to have, you want to be flexible, you want to have quality time. And that's that's all the thing that catch my attention because I was I, I was seeking for that. And uh, I just click on it, you know, I just click on it and sign up with my name and email address and the rest is history. But I didn't not have a bus uh, business background or career background. So I didn't have the skills, you know. And I tell the people that, you know, it's just, beautiful how god works all things because if i knew it was a digital business if i knew that i needed to be in social media i would not have joined up <laughs> if i knew that i needed like to be a tech savvy i would have not joined because i don't you know you know who you are right you know what you have you know what you can do and i didn't think i wouldn't think that i'll be able to do it but our amazing training that we have equips yeah, us yeah. empower us and and help us to set up this business from zero ground. So I'm so I'm so glad that I came across this. So to fellow viewers today who are watching us and they're thinking, oh, I I'm like Claudia. I do not have any tech experience, and I don't even know the first thing about starting an online business. Has it been a challenge for you? Because that's exactly how you started. Have Have you found it challenging to run this online business? Uh, there is challenges like like everything in life, right? Like even without a business itself, right? But I mean, you know, the challenges has been that this is this is your own business, you know. Um, it's something that we need to put our, our effort, we need to put our work, right? Like just as we go to work, no? You know, you need to wake up early, you know, you do things because you have to do things, right? But the thing is that, you know, when you have your own business, we lack a lot, you know? It's like, oh, I'm gonna do it yeah. later, I'm gonna yeah. do it tomorrow, procrastination, right? So those are the challenges that you have to push yourself, no? And overcome them because if, 
no one's going to push us because it's not their business. It's not their interest that, you know, that we move forward, right? So those are the challenges that, you know, we have to deal with ourselves. We have to put a we have to put aside ourselves and to realize, you know, how bad we want it, right? So those are the things that, you know, it's all about a mindset. Great answer. I personally didn't have any tech experience <laughs> and when I started this online business. And, but I just decided, hey, there's going to be training and I trusted that. So I came in Without any experience, I just messed myself into into the training system, and mm -hmm. it's been it's been good for me, and it's worked for you too. So, for our viewers today who are interested in starting an online business, who want to know more about what we do and how we can help them in starting an online business, how can they go about getting more information? Well, they, you know, those people that are following you, um, they, they see, right, that their daily things. But I mean, like right now you have your website there. So you guys could sign up to her website at, um, I mean, <laughs> at her website with your name and email address. And, you know, check it out. I always say this thing with um, with every interview that I that I have the honor and the privilege to be at, that, you know, we can be here every single day, 24 hours, telling you our own personal experience, but you will never know until you check it out for yourself because you can never experience something that you have not, um, you, that you personally have not experienced. So just see it for yourself. There's nothing to lose, um, but there's so much to gain but you will never know until you go into into her website and you sign up with your name and email address and it is a very real um it's a it's it's um real business with real people with real results with uh, you know um with people from all over the world from different walks of lives and there's nothing to lose just see it and if you don't like what you see there's no risk involved at all excellent thank you so much Claudia, for devoting some time to be with me here today and sharing your experience you're welcome um, thank you so much for having have me have a great day thank you too bye-bye bye for now so there you have it guys that was claudia all the way from canada and if you're like Claudia and you're looking for flexibility in your life, the flexibility to be around for the people who matter to you, be it family, friends, whatever, if that is what you're looking for and you've, you, need, you feel that this is the, the time for you to get that flexibility in your life, come and check out our online business because it definitely can afford you that flexibility. So click on my link and register with your name and email address and watch our free webinar. You can attend either the live session or you can, you can watch the, the replay. And if after watching the webinar, you decided this is something that you want for yourself, you'll be asked to pay a token fee, which will get you into our training program where you get to see what this business is all about and the systems you can try the systems that we oh, that we're using but if you decide after you've paid that token fee that this is not for you you've done your due diligence and you've decided that this is not for you we've got a 30-day money back guarantee you can get your money back so like Cla claudia said there's no risk to you but there's a whole lot to gain so Click on my link and register for that webinar. Thank you so much to Abby and thank you to Ryan and everybody else who's watching this. And if you're watching the replay, do leave a comment and let me know where you're watching from. So have a great day, guys, and bye for now.